What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Derail Valley. I did the uh, tutorial again from the last episode, and I've actually ran a couple of trains. Just trying to figure out the game a little bit. And you can see here I am in a machine factory in town. Uh, my train, I'll just jump over there really quick, that I just delivered is right here. I just got paid for it. This is the locomotive that I took from the last place I was at, which was... Um, let's see if I can go into this view. Down here, the harbor uh, down here. So, one thing that I noticed about this map is that they use uh, acronyms instead of writing it out. And I'd have to go back and check out the previous footage that I did about a year ago to see if it's changed at all. But as far as I can tell, this is, this is the exact same map as before. I think there might be some differences on this route, but regardless. So I came from the steel mill. I took a load down to here. I dropped off my locomotive. I believe that's probably it right there, that little arrow. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I can't zoom in like that, unfortunately. It zooms, zooms in there. So anyway, uh, I then grabbed another uh, locomotive and a DB2, and that's what's called DB2. Anyway, uh, I came up this way, took this route, and made it to Machine Factory in town. And the stretch that's right in here, it was very slow speed limit. I couldn't get up enough uh, energy to, to make this climb very quickly. And I actually stalled out a few times, but I did make it up. Obviously, I'm up here. Um, and I still actually got the time bonus, which was shocking to me. Um, let's see here. Yeah, what is this called? This is the uh, DE2, not DB2. Uh, DE2. So that's where we're at. And I'll when we get on the rail, I'll talk about some of the, the differences and, and stuff. So let's go ahead and run another train. Oh, before we do that, let's take a look at my wallet. We have uh, just shy of $50,000. So uh, we maybe get some a new license here. We'll see. We'll see what's available to us here. Uh, we only have the freight hall right now. Those look like tractors going to the farm. Uh, this doesn't pay out very well. We'll place that one back. That's got a long one on it. But it does pay better. Just shy of 10,000. Looks like more tractors on this one. 400 tons is the limit for our little locomotive that we have licensed for. So the only one I'm seeing that I like, that's a logistics haul. That should be very light, very quick. Goods factory in town. Where's that at? This one has a little chart here. So we come over here to this side. Goods factory in town is GF. GF is that one right there. Perfect. So we're way over here. We gotta take that one right there. It's a logistic haul. Should be pretty quick. But where was that other one? This one here. Um, it's 153 tons. Goods factory in town is going the same place. And it's got long one. So we might get that license. Let's go over here and see what we got. So we got fees. I'm sure we have some fees. Go to licenses. $10,000. Woo. So this one is not going to cover the license fee, but we'd have the license fee. It would only be down like a hundred bucks. Let's see what kind of fees we have here. Confirm. Uh oh. Um, so this uh, L091, that's the locomotive that's sitting outside right now. And this 61 is the one that we left uh, down at the harbor. So I'm guessing that we need to actually pay these before we can do anything else. So uh, let's just Let's just pay them, get them off our... Oh, we don't have to pay 100 bucks. That's good. <laughs> Confirm. Go pay paid. Yay. No fees. All right. So now licenses. Let's get that long haul. Long train, rather. $10,000. Say confirm. We'll pull up our wallet. Pay the money. Confirm. Train length one. Congratulations. 
This license grants you access to orders up to 10 cars long. Be aware of total train mass exceeding your locomotive's tractive effort. Removes re-rail discount. Uh, our insurance copay went up a whole bunch. And our time bonus went down a bunch. Throw that in the... Throw that in the trash can. All right, so now let's do this one. We need to go find train MF... FH23. And I believe that's going to be over here somewhere. And it's going to be a long one. Nope, not that one. There it is. Let's confirm. Pull that up. MFFH23. And it is this, the right train. Okay, so we just need to get hooked up to this. And where is it going again? We are going to Goods Factory in town. Let's check our route. Okay, so if we, right here, we need to go over here. So we can go this way, come down this way, cut over. That's going to be a long route. If we go up, kind of wind through here, still a long way. We have to turn here. We go down and then cut across here. That might be a better route. Why don't we do that? So we'll leave to the south. And we'll come up this way. No, we can't. We can't uh we can't turn right there. That's a Y going the other direction. So gosh, there's just, just no really good way of getting there. I'm more inclined to go up north just for a change of, change of scenery. Check out this side of the map. I just was on this track. So, yeah, let's do that. We'll go north. I mean, it looks like there's a little bit of a mountain pass. Maybe through here it might be a little steep. The train isn't horribly heavy. So, let's see, six. So I am using the number keys along the top of my keyboard now. And I did also figure out some... Uh, keyboard shortcuts for operating the locomotive. We'll jump in here. We'll get fired up. Make sure we got full fuel. We do. Okay. Okay, so now actually hit the cutoff. Kill the engine. We want to save fuel. We need to figure out where we're going here. <laughs> so if we come out this way Stop, back up. It looks like we can take this line. We need to get flipped around. Yeah, we need to turn around somewhere. Because we need to get hooked up to this train right here, right? Is this it? Yes. Well, we want to be pulling it that direction. So our locomotive needs to spin around. Let's see. We'll pull up the station map. Okay, we're sitting here. There's no like turn around this way when we're facing this direction. There is a turntable here. So we can back up on this line, go forward, turn around, go forward back up, hook up to our train, run and accept the mission, and then boogie on out to the south. No, we want to boogie out to the north, right? We said we're going to go north. Oh, well, this is easy. <laughs> Oops, we don't need a compass. We don't need a compass. Uh, so all we need to do... I'm lost. Where are we? <laughs> Where's my choo-choo train? It's this one right here that we're taking. Yes. So all we need to do is pull forward and then back up down this line. So we just pull forward up to this point right here. Stop back up and go hook up to it. All right, cool. We're going to be going about 10 miles an hour or less when we hit this train. I don't want to spend all day getting to it. So we'll do like, yeah, a little over 20. And we'll hit a little bit of break.
That's a little hard. I'm going a little fast. All right. Then we'll climb in the cab here. We're going to use the F2 menu. Zoom out a little bit. See our train. Hit the Alt key. And I'm looking for which car has the handbrake set. Because one of these is usually the last one. It's been the last one every time so far. Yes, has a handbrake set. So we just click that button and the handbrake turns off. Very helpful UI to just check your train really quick to see what's what. We go north. We need to actually do nothing until here. Awesome. We just have to pay attention to speed limits. But it looks like there's no switches that we'll have to switch. Cool. Well, and it's raining. I just realized that. It's raining. Awesome. Pull up our job. Got our book. We'll put that away. And we'll run back out to our train. And for this, I'm actually going to sit down. Press the X key to sit down. This gives me a good view of my controls, my speedometer, uh, temperature gauge, uh, all this stuff. While looking out and seeing the switches and that sort of thing. So I kind of like this view now. So we got our brakes off. We need to set our reverser going forward. And we're going to give it a notch of throttle. Get the train moving. Watching this warm up very quickly. That's our tractive traction motors. And then I push, push the Alt key when we get going. And I can see the switches, and I can actually change the switches really quickly. But I have a harder time moving the, the mouse around. I have to click a button, the middle mouse button, to actually move around. Not the end of the world, uh, but it does allow me to see things a little bit better um, from further away, if that makes sense. So we got 50 miles an hour, or excuse me, 50 kilometers an hour. We'll go ahead and bump up uh, another notch of throttle. Get this train moving here. Never been this way before. This is a, a first for me. And once we get on on the open track, we'll just go ahead and push the F2 button now. We got our train coming out of the station. Let's see what does that say? That's a switch. We do have some options here. We can focus the camera here. I'm not sure what this one does. I don't want to press it while moving. Scan the track ahead. Oh, was that what was that one? 10. So that means we can bump it up to 100 kilometers. So let's get get this train moving. Alright, we are at full throttle. 80. We're at 70. We're obviously going downhill. This thing can't do 70 on flat ground. It's kind of scanning ahead with my mouse. There's 80. I'm backing off the throttle. Down to an idle. 50. Uh-oh. Plan a break. We went from 100 to 50 really fast. I'm giving it a lot of break. You 
can see the brake candle, maybe. Let me back up a little bit there. There we go. You can see a little bit more of the brake handle as I'm using the controls here. We're still 50. Not quite. Now we're at 50. Apply a little bit more brake here. And I'm right back off it. Just apply a little bit and then back off. 40. Let it go a little bit longer. Back off. That was probably a little too much. And we slowed down a lot, so now I'm going to have to give it some throttle. And I think we might be leveling out a little bit. I think we're climbing. We're gonna go straight through this. Looks like we're lined up to go straight. I think the speed limit is still 40. Push this button, bring up our UI so we can see from this side of things. Speedometer is 42. We're going to back off our throttle. I just want to coast at 40. Traction motor temp. Uh, that's our throttle. And our reverser, we are full forward. We have no wheel slip, obviously. RPMs, we are at an idle. Brake pipe pressure. Everything looks good. Got plenty of fuel. Everything looks great. 70. Now let's bump up the speed. So it's a very similar game. They've added more locomotives from what I can tell. The map looks identical from what I can tell. They still have the same problem with the speed limits going from you know 100 to 50. There's one section I think where it goes like from 100 to 40 or something like that and then back up to 100. That's something crazy like that. Traction motor's getting a little warm. I'm backing it off a little bit. So, in that regard, you know, it's not the greatest, but they did label everything very well, which I really like. 80, and we're slowing down. Level ground. We're doing 65. So yeah, um, I like it. It's a different, different feel to the game for sure. 60, we need to slow down a little bit here. And we're gonna be slowing down. I believe that's what those up and down arrows mean. We're gonna give it just a wee bit of break. In anticipation, I have to break a lot. Of course, I don't know where that's going to be at. Let's look around a little bit. Very pretty. Let's head outside. Awesome little lake here. I'm, I'm just scanning ahead for speed limits. I would hate to derail. That says 40. Great. Let's go back into... It says we're going to be speeding up again. I gave it just a little bit of train brake. Of course, we're at an idle. All right, we can speed up, but before we do that, I'm going to take a look on the map, see where we're at. We're right up here. 
Gonna go around this way. We got a while before we need to do anything. So let's speed up to... to 60. Or rather, 50. So yeah, I like this feature that I can see those signs. I can... The camera moves a little bit, but I can manipulate all the controls. That's kind of handy. I click the middle mouse button down, and I can look around. And I got a good height for my non-existent seat here. Let's see, if I stand up, I, I can't... It's, it's more of a... I don't like the view. I, like, I actually like the view better from here. Alright, we're at 40, so we're going to get off. I'm not going to apply any brake, unless I start hearing the wheels grinding. This is one of the things that kind of still drives me nuts about this game, is like all the vegetation overgrowing the track. I get a little bit of it, you know, from time to time, but like there's trees and stuff like right on the, you know, branches and that sort of thing, right on the line kind of takes away from the realism. And I get it, there's old, you know, siding track and spur track and that sort of thing that are overgrown like that. But this is not a spur line. This is not a... This is a main line, you know? There, there shouldn't be trees and stuff and vegetation like that growing, growing up around here. At least in my opinion. We gotta slow way down again. Yeah, grindy, grindy. Yeah, I hear that grinding. Speed up to 70 around this corner. So that's why it's hard to look outside. Is because... I'm constantly looking at... Uh, speed limits and that sort of thing it's hard for me to take my focus off even for a second we gotta slow way down now we need to stay middle on this we're going to, about to go through a station and they want us at 50 we're gonna derail Spicy. Hopefully the main line through here is clear. Should be. It is. Okay. Yeah, that's a little too much break, but we were very spicy going around that, that corner. Okay. So we got a turn coming up here pretty soon. We're in this one right here. F. 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 Which I figured out a way of figuring that out, and I'll show you that here in just a second. But we're going to go around this way, and then we have to turn to the right right here. And then stay right on that one. So, oh. I s am I seeing switches? Or is it on the map? That would be handy. I'll check that out here in a second. Kind of wanted to see this town that we just blew through. Let's get out and take a look. It's kind of a cool town. Getting nighttime. What's that say? 30? Uh oh. That's a little too much break there. I think we're climbing a hill too. Having the brakes on and the track, you know, giving it throttle is not good for those traction motors. So as I was saying, let's take a look at the map here. That's FF. We pull up this. We find FF here. Where's that? There it is. And it tells us food factory in town. So that's what we just went through is a food factory in town. But we want... We go in the goods factory in town? Let's check. We'll open this up. Look at this one. Goods factory in town. Yep. And we want... Uh, hall. There we go. D 
inbound. Goods factory in town, D6 inbound. So we go back to here. We go goods factory in town. We're going to be coming in from the southwest. The only way we can come in. D is down here. So we just loop around. I think I've been here several times. And we'll just nose it in. Like always. D6 inbound. 30 miles, or 30 kilometers an hour. Ooh, we have a... A cool little bridge. This might be worthy of a screenshot. Kind of dark. Coming into that nighttime. Let's try running in this mode for a little bit. Just do this. Let's see, speedometer right there. Okay. It disappears when I click the middle mouse button. I don't see any speed limits coming up. What's that? 30. Okay. Well, we're still still doing quite well. Let's see. I can't look at my map to see if that's the one where we have to take the Y. I think it is. Let's pull up the map. Get rid of that. Pretty soon. I can't make it go away. There we go. I will stay in this view for now. Flip some cab lights on. Ah, that's probably worse. Got a lot of glare. There we go. <laughs> Traction motor's getting pretty warm. Knock, knock it down to one. Looks like we're lined up to the go to the right. It's still 30. The ring is the traction motor's getting too hot. Perfect. Made that turn all right. Still got a train behind us. Yep. Okay, 60. Before we go ahead and speed up, though, let's take a look see where we're at. I was hoping the map would be lit up. We want to stay right to the next one and then the immediate left. That's going to happen pretty quick. So let's go ahead and turn off these cab lights. See if that improves our visibility outside. Eh, maybe a little bit. So I did try turning it on realistic mode. I do not recommend that. Uh, there is no jumping forward. You get paid less. And uh, you have very little UI controls, including keyboard controls. You have no keyboard controls. And maybe if I was playing it with VR, uh, that would be a good thing. But with a mouse and keyboard, you kind of need to have keyboard controls. Scanning ahead. Yep, we're lined out to the right. That's good. 60. 60. Perfect. Now we want to take the next left. Yeah, we want to turn here. We want the next left. And I thought maybe... I was seeing the... Controls pop up on the map. For the switches. That would be super nice. But, no. 0.2 kilometers. We have another switch. There it is. Switched it. And we are 60. We're currently doing 50. We got plenty of time, I'm sure. So we want D6 inbound. Oh, that's super cool. 
Hey, I think we're coming into the goods factory in town right after this bridge. Which, I'm not sure where we're going, how the tracks are lined out here. We're going to slow way down. I didn't want to come to a complete stop. Okay, I got to get out of this uh, alt view mode here. And let's go take a look really quick. We're just going to jump out of our train. We're going to come around this way. Circles around. This is all very familiar. We go straight. So far lined up. Okay, so this is our yard. We got to find D6 inbound. D4, 5, 6 is on this track. We come back to the beginning. So that's the right way. And those are all lined out to the right. We should be good. We'll go back and find our choo-choo train. Hopefully it's... Uh, Not completely stopped. No, it is. Pretty much. Alright, let's give it some throttle. We should be lined out. That's the station house. We'll have to unhook really quick and run over there. So I also learned that when we unhook, we need to actually set a handbrake on one of the cars. That is pretty cool. Our way zoomed out. And we should just go right like that and pull it in right up there. I do like this ex exterior view now. I know that some of these controls, like, uh, if we stop it, like, we could take a screenshot with it stopped. Um, uh, that sort of thing. Some of these other ones I don't know, uh, what, exactly what they do. I haven't really played around with it too much. I haven't seen any of the new locomotives yet, either. I'm not sure where they're hiding. I know in sandbox mode, we could probably find them, but... Okay, we just need to wait for this last car to clear. Get on this line here. And we'll apply a brake. Looks like we'll probably be pretty good to start applying our brake. Go ahead and apply our... Uh. All brakes. Jump out. Why can't I jump out? There we go. Alright, we'll quickly unhook this. Uh, get off there. Okay. We'll set a handbrake on this guy really quick. Scroll wheel. We'll run way over here. There it is. And grab this. Put it in there. Uh-oh. We'll let it remove cars from MF2 B20 to GD GF. Are we in the wrong spot? D6 inbound. I thought we were in the right spot. D6 inbound, correct? We're in the wrong lane. Oh, we are. We're in the wrong lane. We need to be over one. Oh, gosh. Okay, now it's like hustle time. we got to get this hooked back up again. Oops, push the lean button. There we go.
Turn this off. Book it in here. Start pressurizing the brake line. Reverse her back. Watching for that gauge to drop down to zero. Turn off our wipers because that's really annoying sounding. There we go. Book it in reverse. Watch that just freak out. There's spin. Yeah, I did not like that at all. <laughs> I don't blow my horn. I seldom blow my horn in this game. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I have to look up the key command for it as well. I already set my reverser forward. See. <laughs> About to blow the traction motor. <laughs> Just trying to get it moving in the right direction here. That ah, looks to be about good. Go ahead and set all brakes. Hop out. Scrolly, 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 scrolly. Set. Run, 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 run. I'm stuck. All right. Now let's try this. Woohoo. Completed. We did it in 38 minutes. And we got paid. Uh, we got some bonus money. Uh, but we got to pay at our base pay of $9,915. We'll go ahead and throw that in the trash can. Grab our fat stack of cash. $14,872. We'll go ahead and put that in our wallet, not our compass. Now we have $54,457. So, yeah, that's fun. Let's go ahead and pay our fees, too, while we're here. Because I'm guessing we have a $100 copay. Confirm. Oh, did I damage the train? <gasps> when did I damage the train? It's going to cost me $2,000 to clear all my fees. Ouch. Pull my wallet. Okay. Confirm. Oh, I guess it's no it wasn't two thousand dollars. Oh, I see. <laughs> Eight hundred and seventy dollars. Huh. So now what are we left with? $52,457. Still not horrible. Though, this guy is angry. So let's see what other uh, hauls we can do here. Uh, we have this one. And that's going to Food Factory in Town. Where's Food Factory in Town? Food Factory in Town is FF. Oh, that's that cute little one. That's a short little haul. It only pays four thousand dollars, though. We'll probably do more damage to the train with that one. Let's see. We do this one. That's five thousand dollars going to the steel mill. That's a short jump too. From here to here, we might do that. We'll put that on the the maybe pile. What we got here. 
Ooh. That is at the absolute top of our... Uh, we can't pull this train. We're not... We don't have enough tractive effort with our little bitty DE2. But it pays very well. And it starts from here and goes all the way down to here. This is all downhill. But we do have to climb in here somewhere. I know we have to climb a hill in this area. And we probably stall out. So unfortunately, that's going to have to be a no as well. Um, see, these are shunting ones. Hmm. Maybe I'll play with those a little bit offline. These are logistics, so they're just they're basically empty cars. I have to go back to wherever they came from. Um, this one pays well. Goods factory in town to city southwest. That must be that one there, South SW Sawmill. No, uh, city southwest is right there, CSW. CSW. Okay, well, it's a little bit of a jaunt. Not horrible. Mostly flat. It's lightweight. We can probably handle it quite well. We might do this one. But if we do, it'll be on the next episode. So please remember to uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that little bell notification so you won't miss it when we do that run from here down to the city southwest with a logistical haul. Uh, if we can afford the for the license for it. We'll find out on the next episode. Bye for now.